In this video we will learn how to link Google Search Console with Google Analytics 4. Hey guys my name is Roman and welcome to Webby Digital channel and in this video we are going to link up Google Search Console with Google Analytics 4 property. So in the previous video we will cover how to install Google Analytics 4 with the help of Google Tag Manager to your WordPress or your non WordPress website and in this video we are going to link Google Search Console to Google Analytics 4 in two simple steps. If you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because you are going to miss a lot of things we are going to cover in the future so let's get started so first thing first why you need it okay why you need to link your google search console account or website to google analytics 4 property because as you know google search console gives you all the analytics data about your where your domain or where your site is ranking on which specific keyword so we have already covered those in the previous videos you can just browse through links in the description box and why you need it you need to if you want to data if you want to data on where your site is ranking in your google's analytics for then it's actually the best way to link up your google search account with your google analytics for so to do that what you need is go to your google analytics account login with your email or whatever so if you have already configured it because i assume you have already configured it if you haven't just watched the previous video we have configured our google analytics 4 property with google tag manager so in this video just log in to your property and just go to your property name like here right and afterwards you will see this particular dashboard i know there's no users right now because of it's only the development blog where we do experiments on wordpress website so here is second is our property of google search console so make sure you have login with your correct email address and the google search console's email address should be the same of google analytics 4 account so in the next step what you need to do is go to this admin option here and afterwards you have this particular settings and in this property settings there is the product links so there are many products available to link up with your google analytics account so first is google ads or you can also link up your google ad manager links and you can also add the merchant center or google play links and you can also add search ads 360 but in this video we are going to cover the search console links just click on it and afterwards click on this link and just click on the choose account as you can see there's actually the two properties here just choose your correct property and click on confirm and just click on the next and here's the web stream to be selected yes stream should be the same as your google analytics 4 account like web dev uh, 4 which we have covered in the previous video just click on it and click on the next and here just give an overview if you are doing it correctly or not so the link up property is of this baby.co which is your prefix of my google search account and web stream which is going to be linked is web dev 4 so just click on submit and here is the link is created and you will find all the id of stream id or something you will find all the stream id or web stream related data here just go to the home here so now to see your google and google search console's data so what you need to do is go to this reports and go to the acquisition click on the acquisition overview and here you will get these two little boxes or data where you will find all the organic google search impressions and google organic search clicks so here we have no data because it's a development blog where we test our websites or our designing or coding purposes or tutorial purposes so here you will get all the details of your organic search data here so if you don't see this these two boxes just click on f5 key or just reload your page and it will be there in no time so if you have learned something from this video please click the like button and if you want to learn much more tutorials about seo or technical seo and digital marketing as a whole because we are going to ex we are going to do an experiment on instagram marketing also in the few days so more information will be available on this channel so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please click that or smash that red button and see you in the next video until then bye bye